<clears throat> Hello there, you dude. Um, I recently made a self-sustained keying practice uh, piece of hardware for um, Morse code uh, CW. So uh, this is this is the circuit I used. I just wanted to go over it with you before I showed you the actual hardware. Um, first, I'm gonna sweep sweep it so uh, you can write it down, pause the video and whatnot, to get it on paper. Um, this is made in multi-sim. Uh, the, the the IC is actually a 555 timer. Uh, you'll need to get the pinouts. Google will help you with that. If you look here, it's ground. The top is uh, voltage. Output here on the right. And here is re, uh, reset uh, threshold. Uh, the pin, um, I believe that's pin 5 is actually unused. Um, but look at the lettering. Threshold. Discharge. Output. Yada yada. Alright. Um, back to the circuit. These ground points here. There's three of them. Uh, the one of the speaker, you can't see it here, but in your real circuit you'll have it. You don't want to be putting that to the chassis as it would suggest. Just put them together. This here, a little bit of circuit here is oscillation, oscillator. Ignore it. Um, you don't actually need to do it. Um, now, this circuit, uh, how it works is this here capacitor picks your tone. And um, there's no volume control. So if you wanted a higher pitch tone, you just lower this here. Um, I wouldn't go below 0.22. And if you go above 0 0.3, 0 0.4, you'll probably get no sound at all. So keep that in mind. 0.11 I found to be the ultimate. But I put a 0.22 in my circuit. Um, this here resistor, you can also put 25K or 20K. This here you can go with 500 ohms up to 1K. Um, with a 1K though, you're going to get less voltage into the chip. It's going to have less draw in your circuit. This here power switch is actually not a power switch in your real circuit. It's going to be the key um, that you press that creates your Morse code. Um, this is a, if you look at your oscillation here, and then you turn your circuit on, you'll start to oscillate. Um, you can actually listen to it too with this. Um, if you change this, we'll say cut it in half, and then do it again. Lost the oscillate. It's a much, uh, much better frequency, I would think, for Morse code. This here you can ignore. It happens so fast, you're not going to detect it in real life anyway. But you see the difference right there. Um, another thing you may want to do is you might want to get rid of this wire here. Um, put a pot meter in. Right. You want to rotate that. Okay, then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to put the wire in like this. And what this does is basically gives you vol volume control. Alright, if you want to go ahead and do something like this. Um, you don't want 1K though, you're going to want a 10K pot meter. Um, other than that, that's the circuit right there. Alright. So now what we're going to do is um, I'm going to show you the hardware. All right, first and foremost, um, the base is made out of four layers of cardboard that uh, I just electrical taped. I electrical taped it together. This here piece here, which I use for the key, was pulled out of um, a computer case. It's full of metal. All right, um, my 555 chip is actually a circuit mount version. I left it out in the open so it looks cool. 
um, the speaker is actually glued, glued into place. It's a 9 volt circuit, so you're going to have a square battery connection um, in your circuit. You can see here the capacitors are exposed. Now, here's a pro tip for you. Um, I didn't use a voltmeter, but in multi-sim, this program here, I used the virtual voltmeter, and it said the voltage spikes here goes above 16 volts. Um, so what you're going to want to do is you're not going to want to use the 16 volt capacitors. You're going to want to use 25 or 50 volts or 30. Anything above 16 should be fine. I think it peaked at 18, so you got to be kind of above 18. Um, other than that, there's nothing to it. Uh, the circuits are all embedded in electrical tape and between the cardboard uh, folds. Um, this here, the spring, the connection, right here, where it sandwiches down. Uh, that was taken out of an old radio. And it took uh, AA batteries, and that's the spring out of that little compartment there. Um, this is a 0.25 watt speaker, 8 ohm. Um, that's it. So if you have any questions, just put them down there in the comments. Um, oh, yeah. This is what it sounds like with the setup that I had. Um, it's not it's not the best sounding. I also think the battery's dying. Um, but if you want a higher, more realistic sound, just lower lower that capacitor, like I told you, um, the point two two, right here. Make it 0.11, and uh, it'll be much higher pitched, which is what you ideally want anyway, especially if you want the sound like real Morse code. Um, other than that, that's it. Uh, like I said, if you got questions, let me know. If you want to build one of your own, um, I'll kind of try to hide. I'm not going to do it for you, but I'll try to kind of guide you. Um, so, yeah, just... Uh, and have fun with it. That's what it's all about. You want to learn Morse code and take your tests and become a ham or whatever. You gotta have fun with it. All right.